Well, there's something going on with my compact today. And apparently, I think the DV, I mean C and E drive busted. Sock. You know, whenever you spray something on a flat screen, you use a nice soft sock to clean it. Don't worry, this is a brand new one. I got a CD. Oh yeah, she's not gonna work. Hmm. Well, I guess this is the this is the time to put in the DVD drive. I'm getting kind of fed up with the having to take the whole case off and putting this in and then unplugging it and hooking everything back up. So. I'm going to take the slot drive out. I'm going to plug it in the Orion computer and see if it's not the drive. But still, I'm going to hook this one up anyway. Because, you know, I'm sick and tired of just transferring things back and forth, back and forth. I just want to have the DVD drive right there. Yeah, she's not going to boot with a busted... Uh... Okay. She's not going to boot without the CD drive. So we're going to take everything off the desk and take this whole thing apart. If you're wondering where I got this desk lamp, I got it from Value Village for a dollar. It's very nice. I like the old golden color stuff. There's only one screw keeping this whole cover on. That's going to be easy. She a beauty. Now, one would question, how the hell is he going to get this whole CD drive out of here when the floppy disk drive is in the way? And when there's absolutely no way in hell on getting the floppy drive out? And how is he supposed to get the CD drive out when that speaker's in the way? Well, let me tell you guys that this whole front section right here right where the flashlight is sitting this whole area actually slides off so in order to take all the uh, front pieces off I have to unplug the cables from the floppy I have to unplug the speaker but do it gently because you don't want to break the wires Well, she's a title, title bitch to get in, uh, to get out. <clears throat> there we go. There's the wire for the one speaker. Um, this one hooks up to the subwoofer. And, uh, I don't know what that hooks up to. It's been a while. Okay, and I take it I have to unplug this one because I've unplugged it before when I took this thing off. Okay, so that's out. This awesome colored rainbow wire. Next, we get the hard disk out. And you're like, that's a small hard disk, that shouldn't even be in there. Well, a long time ago, the Bigfoot hard drive that was in it it used to be that big died and it was a one gigabyte big foot hard drive really wish it still worked but it doesn't yeah a uh, three gigabyte hard drive with 
Windows 98 SE on it. And put that in a safe place. There we go. Now we got to unhook the uh, cables down there. Now the weird thing, this how this computer is wired. Um, if I'm going to plug the DVD drive in, I have to plug this wire, which goes to the hard drive, into the DVD, and try to put this wire up here. So it's basically like a twist around. It's kind of odd. But, oh well, not bad. So, in order to get the case off, like the whole front section, you have to get that screw down there, which is right in that area. And, let's see, get that screw that's in that area. And the whole front should just slide right off. And the screws that are keeping the CD drive in are underneath. So that's how, pain, how big of a pain in the ass this thing is. But kind of neat that it slides off. Alright, time to pull the front off. And there you are. And underneath there is some screws. I wonder what that rattling noise is. Hmm, I never actually got a chance to see what was like inside the subwoofer before. Thank God I have my flashlight here. Hmm, a little styrofoam foam thing in there. Can't really see past all that. So, we're going to make a part two of this video soon. Because, you know, YouTube only has this 10 minute limit thing, so you've just seen the cover being taken off. Doesn't really look like a computer anymore. That does. And it's pretty heavy too. This is the heaviest part of the computer.